All right, what's up guys? Here we are with another Team Reaper TCG League Cup. This is in Hot Springs, Arkansas this mm -hmm. time. Uh, we are at the Four Dice Room at the National Park Hospital. Yeah. Uh, we were able to get the room. It's basically a, um, like a conference room. Like a conference room. Uh, it was very nice. Um, so, yeah, that's where the League Cup Championship took place. And this is the finals match between a couple of Team Reaper TCG teammates. Uh, Brock Davis, who is going to be playing uh, Zoropod, uh, versus uh, Cat... Um, Brissette or uh, Brisse? Yeah. Um, I don't have to ask her what her last name is because I feel dumb now being like, okay, well, <laughs> but you got your name wrong, but hey, Cat. So, uh, anyways, yeah, Cat's playing bees, and if you saw, uh, she bested her teammate, uh, myself. My, yeah, Chris <laughs> over here. Um, in top Chris four. Weber in top four, and um, so yeah, that's uh. That's what we've got here. Uh, Brock has uh, actually the day before this tournament, he won a league cup in McKenzie, Tennessee. Yeah, I think it was standard. It was standard. I want to say he's at like two seventy nine. Yeah, two seventy nine now for points. So he's having a really good run. He's, he's over like, halfway there. He's like close to your number, but minus hundred. Yeah, well, right. Yeah, I'm at three sixty nine, but we don't want to talk about that. So. <laughs> Um, anyway, so yeah, here is the championship matchup between Brock and Cat. All right, so here we go. Brock has won the coin flip, and he will be going first. Mm -hmm. And let's see um, what they start with. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, this is a weird matchup uh, for bees because Brock plays a lot. Oh, and that's the worst starter he could possibly have in his entire deck, the Giratina. That's the the Dimension Door Giratina. Mhm. Mm and I want to say Distortion that, Door. Distortion Door. And I want to say that he put it in there to help hit numbers versus Lycanroc. Maybe uh, I it just helps hit numbers altogether though. I can't remember what he said it helps hit numbers for. Well, cuz he pay he plays the uh, Parallel City, so once yeah. he drops it, he's able to discard it. Right, right. But so, yeah, it's, just, it's probably the worst starter you could possibly have. Yeah, because it's got three attack, and he doesn't have run psychics. He doesn't run psychic, and three, three retreat. Yeah, so. it's definitely um, not what you want to see as your starter. Mm -hmm. But he is going to grab the Bridget with a Lele, and it's going to be a Wimpod and a couple Zerua. Yeah. So, pretty good setup, other than the Giratina. Other than the Giratina, it's pretty good. All right, and Cat's got an Eevee in the starting position. Mm -hmm. And there we see a Battle Compressor. I think that she she does run for Battle Compressor, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, Bees, you, you definitely would have to run. I will double check, but I'm pretty sure. It is, yes, it's for Battle Compressor. Yeah. I mean, in a deck like this, Battle Compressor is such a good card. Like, so good. And then there we see, I think, Macho Gallade and something else. It looks like a grass type, maybe. Probably an egg. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That was eggs. <laughs> so that's three already hitting the, the discard. discard. Um, yeah, so it's going to be an egg. And we'll see a propagation. And it looks like it's going on the bench. And a DCE. Well, I guess you can propagation so you don't get donked. So you don't get donked, <laughs> yeah. Well, although now he can Guzma, so... Uh, I mean, you don't really want to knock out the eggs. You'd rather knock out the Eevee with the DCE, though. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So I guess you don't really want to Guzma. So there's 10 damage <laughs> with the Eevee. Eevee. I think the Eevee says it does 10 damage times the amount of different Pokemon types on your bench or <laughs> something. Which could actually hit pretty big numbers since Cat's running so many different so types. So many different types, that's true. Alright, let's see what Brock's going to do here. I see a Parallel City. Mm -hmm. And I don't I, I don't recall seeing... Alright, so yep, he is going to Parallel and get rid of the Lele. And then Ultra Ball getting rid of another Lele and mm. a Stand-In Zorark. Yeah. He plays double Stand-In Zorark, which I think is absolutely necessary mm -hmm. in Expanded. Yeah, but he does put down the Zorak GX, and he'll be able to start using trade. Got one card in hand. Oh, and it's going to be a Sycamore. Sycamore, nice. So what does the double stain of Zorak help with? Well, it definitely helps against anything like uh, any kind of poison or any kind of lock, especially. Yeah. Shock lock. 
uh, bark and cover, mm-hmm. things like that that you can just stand in and get out of stuff, stand in and retreat to be able to do um, to be oh, able yeah, to Oh, yeah, because they can just, like, swap themselves. Absolutely, yeah. Well, and I wonder, because if, if you stand in on one, then you can stand in on the one that came out, right? Yes, you can. Yes, you and can just, stand like, in twice. Them. Right, yeah, absolutely. And then you can still retreat as well. Yeah. It's pretty You good. know, as long as you have a uh, And there's float a stone. float stone and the knockout on Eevee. Mm-hmm. And then so Cat needs some a, Pokemon. A bench Pokemon, absolutely. Cat needs, needs something. A bench Pokemon. Uh, I think she's just gonna scoop it yep, up. Yeah, she's gonna scoop it up. And wow, that hand is terrible. I mean, I guess she did have the stretcher, so she would have been able. Oh no, that was a that was on the prizes. Maybe maybe the ideal scenario is Cat's able to maxis the the Glade back to the bench and then knock out the, the Zorark. But that's like that's in, a, in a that's like in a perfect world. Yeah, that's thing. a lot. That's a lot. So yeah, that's a really quick game one. So Cat's gonna start here in game two with an Eevee a and combi. straight to a combi. I see. Brock's got a couple of. Uh, I see. Oh, is that, was that a pass right <laughs> yeah, away? I think wow. She I also think she flashed her hand, but I didn't get to see all of it. It looked like two field blowers, a DCE. Oh my! And, and yeah, that's not very good. Something else shiny, maybe wow. a Seeker. All right. Maybe so there's, there's an Ultra Ball Bridget. for Lele for Bridget. Mm-hmm. With already a Zerua in the active, and then one on the bench now. And the it's Ditto. Be, oh, wow. So there's a, a Ditto Wimpod and a Zerua. So that's a really great setup right Yo, now. the squad. All right. Um, do we see anything else from Brock? No, we don't. All right. Well, there's at least a Shaman off the top. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the DCE in hand, Choice Band. All right, so there's the choice band DCE, and there is no discard. So there's no. a setup for what is that two? Oh, yeah. there's they, a Guzma, but that's not going to do any good right now. Yeah, there was a battle compressor. Okay, though, so. there we go. So now she's off and running, at least a little bit. Hey, maybe she has like a rescue structure in hand, and she can put um, the Flareon in the discard. There, that's true. And, that is true. You know. So there's a chorus, Gallade, and the Marowak. And a Versus Seeker for the chorus, and she'll chorus for seven. Yep, that's pretty good. Not bad. A buffed up Cynthia. Yeah, Cat's definitely looking to get something going you gotta get something maybe get a flareon off the top so she can evolve maybe take a knockout you know get some more pokemon on the bench there's a computer search a lele the okay unknown. there we go so not too bad you can get more pokemon on the bench i saw you known so there's a farewell letter going to be coming probably mm-hmm. and so computer search um maybe she put the lele up front uh so she's going to discard the Lele. So maybe she has a supporter in her hand for the next turn? I well, don't, I don't, don't remember think she... Seeing. I just don't think she wants to put the Lele down on the bench, though. True. As, as much as she's probably dead drawing, you don't want to do that. You've already got a Shaman, which is a very easy target for Zorark. Yeah, no, you're right about that. It gets knocked out by a Glycepod and Also, yeah, you can yeah, Guzma up with a Glycepod and just take a, a one shot on the Shaman and then there's two prizes. And that's that's just super hard to recover from. Mm-hmm. Especially considering she's only got a few Pokemon right now in the discard. So. Right. All right. So there's Ultra Ball. Field Blower. Maxis? Uh, yes, it is. Well, maybe she's trying to set up a Maxis play because Glade would maybe. absolutely wreck... Yeah. If she could get a Glade out. Yeah, because she might have computer searched for the Ultra Ball. Mm-hmm. I wonder if the last card in hand is Versus Seeker. That'd no, be pretty good. we have to see for next turn. Yep. Oh, so oh, there's Shaman. Ultra Ball for a Shaman. So she just, she's just got to do something here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess and that it definitely hurts. I see a special charge. Okay, so there's a, you know, and we're going to set it for five here. There's an Ultra right, Ball. Quinn, DC. Maybe a Float Stone. Alright, farewell letter. Another Vespa Queen. Alright. Mm, 
she does run two special charts, so maybe discard that. Discard a Vespa Queen. And a special, special charge. charge. Okay, yeah. Do we see? Yeah, okay, so we do see the Flareon. Alright, there's the Flareon. I wonder if it's a 1 1 Flareon? Is it a 2 2 Flareon? I think it's a. Uh, actually, I think it's a 2 2. 2 2? Mm hmm. So thinking, and then she also, of course, runs Ditto to be able right? to, to get it also. But yeah, so it's two Eevee and two Flareon. And so she takes a knockout with the Flareon. And what do we see from Brock? There is a Glycepod. There mm -hmm. are Zoroarks. I think there's multiple Zoroarks. There's, right, so there's a Zorark here. Mm -hmm. Propagate, uh, propagate trade. Yep. We're gonna see, actually, we're going to see an Ultra, Ultra Ball. Ball first. I wonder if you can grab another Lele here. I mean, why not? <laughs> Although there are reasons why you shouldn't. Right, but absolutely. Maybe he does. And looks like, okay, looks like uh, Lele is actually prized, so he's going to go ahead and grab Shaman. And uh, it'll be he'll his. be empty handed, so he'll be setting up for six. Yeah. And. Alright, and there's the setup for six. And, and he, still has, he, yeah, he still has trade. Mm -hmm. He still has the Ditto and the Zerua to evolve into more Zorks for yep. more trades. So, All right, there's, so there's, trade. there's the Propagate trade. I see a Chorus. Chorus would be good right here. Yeah, because I don't think he's played Supporter because he did mm -hmm. the, the Shaman. Now, unless he has Guzma. Now, Guzma knock out the Shaman. Yeah, that would be pretty good too, actually. Yeah, attach Grass Energy, mm -hmm. Guzma knock out Shaman. Yep. All right, what's he thinking about... He does have the grass. There's a float. There's a grass. There is chorus. Chorus, okay, okay. So no Guzma, but he will be drawing eight. Mm -hmm. And he will just float up and knock out the Flareon. Right. Which gets rid of any... Uh, well, the Combi is... Could be an attacker. Could be an attacker next turn. Because all it takes is an evolution and a DC. Yeah. Evolution and a DC. But it won't be knocking out a Glassapod. No, no, not yet. Not yet. Glassapod's, what, 210? Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, so there's a Battle Compressor. Yo, and the, the Sand and Zorark is also really good because you can just uh, proc the, the Glassapod first attack. First oh, absolutely right. Because mm -hmm. you just you just, you just stand yeah, in you stand and, in and, float, and out. float out. Absolutely, oh, man, yeah. genius. Yeah, All right, really so he... Good. So there's a Mui X getting out of there and a Bridget that he's no longer going to need. Right, right. And Zork. there's another Zork, and so we'll see another Propagate trade. Mm -hmm. Field Blower. And another Colorus, I believe. Now, does he play a full art Colorus and a Reverse Hollow <laughs> now? Come yeah, on, Brock. I think he, I think Come he on, Brock. I got, I got a Colorus you can borrow. There's a <laughs> double Propagate for an Ultra Ball. I'd imagine we're going to see another Zork here. Of some sort, yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay, so right there. GX. So now you've got three Zorks, and at this point, you pretty much just do whatever you want. When you've got three trades available to you, mm -hmm. it's it's rock and roll time, no yeah. doubt a doubt. And yeah, and it's it's super hard for Vespaquin to take a one-hit knockout on Zorark. Mm -hmm. And there's two more DCEs, so... He is ready for next Oh, time. wow, look at that. Parallel City, get rid of the two that he does not need. It's pretty good float and then yep there we go well and the parallel city also reduces damage from grass fire and water types oh that's right by, by 20 so that's right so the flareon and the vespaquin are going to be reduced damage by 20 that's kind of ridiculous that is pretty good that is definitely right, well, good there is a vespaquin there's vespaquin and, and the dce now she needs a choice band she needs a choice band. Or, she also needs to be able to get out of the active here i meant float stone but Choice band will help too. Yes. So we're looking at eight. <laughs> so there. Oh, there's the float stone. All right. Mm -hmm. And an in. Not bad. Not bad. But you know, Brock's sitting there with the three Zoroks and just kind of laughs it in. True. Really. <laughs> True. I mean, you can't really end somebody to zero. Right. Right. And then prevent their next draw. Mm -hmm. Right. So. <clears throat> well, Brock's gonna draw five, and then get three trades in. So. Right. It's not really hurting that bad. Yeah, that's like still drawing seven cards right. in a single turn. Mm -hmm. Well, and getting rid of stuff that you don't need. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If if you want to, because technically you can just free yeah, with the propagate. You just mm -hmm. trade for free. 
There is a Blitzel, um, which does evolve into that Sprint Zeb Striker. Yes, it does. Which is a super cool card, and I can't wait for it to become super popular. <laughs> I freaking love Zeb Striker. Yeah, Sprint is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Especially being an ability to where you don't have to worry about playing a supporter, you know. It's... Yes. I don't want this hand. Let me just get four mm. new cards. All right, so there is an Ultra Ball. Um... I like it better than Marshadow in some instances just because you're not shuffling your hand. You're, you're just discarding and drawing mm -hmm. four, but you can use it more than once. Marshadow well, is just a one-time thing, and then it's there, and that's all there is to it. So yeah. there we'll see another farewell letter. Yeah, and sometimes your hand is full of things that you don't want to draw back into. So now Cat's up to ten. That is a lot of Pokemon in the discard. But she she plays 28. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so not even half her Pokemon. Yeah, because I want to say that some of the new Pokemon that have similar attacks have damage caps. Mm -hmm. Whereas Vespaquin doesn't, yeah. I so don't So there's think. two more. And then it looks like a teammate, which is definitely good. Something you want to get into the discard. Now she only plays one teammate. So, all right, so there's Vespaquin. And it will hit for... It's going to subtract 20 also, so... It'll hit for 120. Yeah. It'll hit for 120. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so there's so Propagate Trade. I see a Skyfield and a Verse Seeker. Another trade, Choice Band DCE. Now, at this and point, do you just attach DCE to... To the Glyce Well, I'm wondering, um, you know, Ace Arola would be oh, yeah, super true. good right here. Yeah, I remember Brock using Ace Arola in my game versus him in the, the Swiss in rounds. Swiss. And it, he pulled up a, a Zorak with, like, 160 damage on it. And it oh, felt real bad. That hurt so bad. <laughs> Yeah, um, that should have been a good matchup for you also. Yeah, except Lycanroc's weak to grass. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Lycanroc is weak to grass. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. It was still close, though. All right, so there's Skyfield coming down. So that says to me that he's ready to start attacking with Zorark. Right. Um, and, I mean, even if you attach the DCE to uh, Glycepod, you can still use the GX and, like, switch them out. All right, so there's the Acerola. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. So now you put back down the wind pod, absolutely. DCE. Attach DCE, so now it's 100 damage. Just enough. Just enough. And he could also he could always get the eggs back out of the discard. Absolutely. And put them on the bench. That's true. I want to say that Cat drew into Parallel City, which I think she also plays a one of... Which is, I mean, it's a pretty good one of. No, it's definitely a good one of. Uh, and there's a, a DC attachment to Shaman. I know there's a lot of people that are happy that Parallel City rotated. So. Yeah, me being one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like playing with three bits. Yeah, she does play one copy of Parallel City. In fact, I believe it's her only stadium. Mm -hmm. that and she there's plays. A, a double Glycepod from Brock. Uh, and then Probably getting a trade. Probably getting a trade. trade. He's not even looking. He's just. <laughs> Got a handful there. Look at this. Like, let me just play with my deck. So there's a computer search, so you can just grab whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. All right, propagate. Yep, computer search. Go ahead and get rid of the muck. Thin, yeah, thin it out that. here. Doesn't need it. Yep. And there's the Guzma for Shaman. Mm -hmm. Let's see. He's going to need to put another Pokemon down. Well, or the grass. Oh, the that's right. Okay, yeah, or the, yeah, yeah. First, yeah, for first, first impression, impression that's right. So there's two more prizes down. So Cat's got a lonely Blitzel mm -hmm. up, and there's a Floatstone, and let's just see. She just has to get a Pokemon down. Um, so she's got enough Pokemon in the discard, but she has no way. Okay, so it's parallel towards herself. All right, Shaman set up for four. I see another Battle Compressor. There's a combi, so next turn. But I'm afraid it's a little just too yeah, late. Yeah, a little bit too late. Yeah. Because Brock's only got two prizes Well, and left. she had to drop the Shaman just to be able to do anything. Yeah, so to be able to drop. There's a, yeah, there's another two prize attacker. Well, yeah, it's either Shaman or get donked. It's like, right, how, how you so at this point, it's 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 a Grass Energy Verse Seeker for Guzma. Right. And I mean, that's and that's game. So. I think that was a Verse Seeker for maybe teammates. I would imagine so. Yeah, it's like, you, I don't know. You don't want to play the Shaman, but you gotta. Mm -hmm. And 
so what do you even search for here maybe is Upstrika, maybe or like dce vespaquin although the combi just came down so combi just came down so you have to you find know. a different attacker so there's an eevee coming down but now do you even try i mean do you even float out Maybe a DC for the. Well, it'd be DC so. for game now. Okay. Oh, oh Sky okay, Return. Okay, that's okay. That's actually pretty smart. Yeah, it's pretty good. I guess you put the Blitzel back up. Cause yeah, you'd rather attack with either the Flareon or the Vespaquin. Well, it also keeps him from winning the game this turn because you get rid of the option of him to Guzma for the Shaman. Right. But well, I mean, I guess him or um, Cap putting up the Blitzel uh, makes it to where. Brock can't uh, knock out her only attacker. Right. Also. No, absolutely. That's true, too. <laughs> that is true, too. Whereas the discard your hand draw for is mm -hmm. not as relevant anymore. But it's definitely too little too late at yeah. this point. I mean, you know, Kat's giving it all she's got, but... There's your first seeker for Guzma. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and knock out one of the attackers, because that Blitzel's not really doing any uh, mm. doing anything up there. Such a cute card. It's not scary. <laughs> <laughs> Battle Compressor... Don't want that. Don't want that. Nope. 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 Mm, excuse me. Yawning. He does still need to shuffle his deck. <laughs> yeah. What has he got? What has he got? I guess he's going back in. Maybe, yeah. Um, so you Guzma, and of course you can just put up Zork with a DCE, or you mm -hmm. can just put up the right. Glyce Pod with the Grass. All right, so there's stretcher. Okay, so there's what he was doing. He was grabbing a stretcher. Shuffles in three, three mons. Mm -hmm. And Ultra Ball, the choice band. And, and he probably propagate. Yeah, probably the, yeah. the propagate egg. And then who does he attack with? All right, so he's going to Guzma and attach the float out and attach yep. dc mm -hmm. yep and he's down to one so all brock needs is one more prize yeah and he's got the float stone and so yeah. i mean it's at this point even even if she can get the knockout um it's not going to matter because then he'll put up the zorak with the float stone and then retreat into the glissopod for the right. knockout so so here we're going to see another Battle Compressor. Maybe maybe somehow getting a one-hit knockout. That'd be pretty cool. Hitting, you'd have to have 19 Pokemon in you'd your discard. You'd have to have 19, or you'd have to have 16 and, and a Choice, choice band. band. Yeah. But it seems a lot more feasible. Well, than like she's got 14 now. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. So that is a lot. Now what she needs is a knockout. An enhanced hammer and a crushing hammer heads, <laughs> and then I think you got it. But even then, he's still sitting on another <laughs> another DCE. Oh, okay, so I see what you're saying. Yeah, e yeah, hammer, yeah. right, right, right. Okay, yeah, e hammer the bench. Yeah, yeah, e hammer the bench. Knock out the active crushing, crushing hammer, hammer. the actor, the glass spot, and field blower the float zone. <laughs> yep, you're good. Yeah, that's that's game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, so Shaman, because it doesn't matter if it's a two-prizer anymore. There's the Vespa Queen. Mm -hmm. And how much does she hit for? No, I saw it. And okay, there's farewell a... Farewell letter. Yep. There's another farewell letter. All Yo, right. she's almost drawn her whole deck, too. Yeah. That's 190. There's the Vespa Queen. All right, so there's a knockout yeah. there, and then... <laughs> That's the one shot with the Vespa Queen on a Zora. Yep, and there it is, there's so... Game. Yeah, Cat gave it all she could, but it, it just it's such a hard deck to try to, you know, manage because well, and Brock can pretty much just do whatever he wants. Zorak and Glycepod have a lot of HP. Oh they really do. For, for Cat's gotta be able to weakness. just start dumping Pokemon right away and each step that's missed per turn, mm -hmm. um, it just is is too detrimental to try to make a comeback from that yeah. because Brock one shots everything. Yeah. Uh, including up to and including Shaman. <laughs> so yeah. You know, having to put Shaman down to be able to thin, to be able to draw, um, it's kind of... Very uh, unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. But uh, Cat did a good job, got second. Brock wins back-to-back. -back. 
League Cups. League Cups for the weekend. Uh, swept the weekend, mm-hmm. um, getting the win in uh, McKenzie, Tennessee, and then Hot Springs, Arkansas. Yeah. So he is sitting at, I wanted to say it was like 279. Yeah. Um, Cats at 117. Yeah, 117. I like believe. That. So uh, Give or take. Give or take. Cat needs a couple of good finishes in uh, Collinsville. Yeah. Um, Brock, though, is over halfway, and we're at the halfway point of the season, so mm-hmm. he's right where he wants to be. And um, so, yeah, that was uh, that was fun. That was a good matchup. Yeah. The next tournament was not going to be for a while. Uh, it will be sometime in April. Sometime. Uh, sometime in April. Now, we're going to be going to Tulsa and mm-hmm. going around a few places. Collinsville's coming up. Um, also, don't forget to check out our podcasts. Uh, which drop every other Thursday, um, and but we go live on Twitch Mondays. Mm-hmm. Uh, either Jesse Stuckey is streaming uh, PTCGO, or we'll be doing podcasts. And check out some of our old content. We've got our other League Cups and uh, podcasts. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. all right, Chris. Uh, any closing thoughts? No, just excited for Collinsville. Excited for Collinsville. Excited standard. for Team Up. Yeah, Team Up and Standard. <laughs> so, All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, be Until sure to like time. and follow, and we'll see you guys next time.